Hi guys, in this video we're going to be looking at these blemmies from Satyr Art Studio. Scruffy Crow! So Satyr Art Studio are an American company based in San Francisco. Uh, but these minis have not come from anywhere near as far away. Because in the UK they are cast and distributed by Grendel up in Scotland. Um, who I have done videos on before, you can check out my Barbarian one. Uh, they do some really nice minis there. I mean look at this old school flyer design as well. That's uh, pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so Scotia Grendel Productions. Um, uh, but that's really handy if you do want to pick up some miniatures from Satyr Art Studio uh, because they also do this fabulous range of trolls uh, and a few other bits and pieces um, which have got that old hammer vibe. Uh, but these particularly, uh, I think the owner or the sculptor po posted these on Facebook a while back and I was very excited and then I think they did a little bit of a sale, I think I picked these up on. And I've had them kicking around for a month or so now but obviously uh, with moving I've only just got around to having a look at them. As with everything I, uh, pretty much everything I do, uh, I'll be working with 30mm uh, rounds. Let's have a look at them in turn then. So we've got one guy here with a club. We've got a guy with a spear, a sort of crude shield. These guys have got some pretty chunky uh, vents here. Uh, so it's going to take a little bit of cleaning up to get that one off. We've got a war club. This one might be my favourite. That might be his mohawk that's done it. And we've got two with, oh, and we've got two with bows. Now I love these expressive faces. I almost feel like the sculptor uh, just want to make these guys as a bit of an excuse to, uh, to sculpt these sort of larger scale faces because they do look like they were a lot of fun. Um, but blemmies uh, are a, a thing that have appeared in history. A sort of old school urban myth, I believe. The first direct reference to blemmies uh, in history is from uh, Herodotus, who I know from the Assassin's Creed game, um, where he calls them without a head, a men without a head. Uh, and he also mentions dog-headed men and a few others. Uh, but throughout history, they've, they've appeared um, in various maps and pictures. Um, and there's been a couple of types. There's ones with eyes in the shoulders, um, but my favourite type are the ones that have been sculpted here. Um, so it's kind of cool uh, that these guys have finally got some Warhammer sculpts. I think there are a couple of other companies that make um, similar miniatures, but these are definitely the nicest. Uh, so let's get these cleaned up and popped onto some bases, shall we? So here we go. Uh, the cleanup wasn't too arduous at all. I think these guys are looking pretty cool on these rounded bases as everything does pretty much. I love a round at base. Uh, so next up is going to be my classic combo of PVA and bird sand. And now these guys are all ready uh, for their undercoat. Okay so these guys have had a simple black undercoat and now all five of them are going to get my standard flesh recipe. Uh, which is Idrin Flesh from P3, Midland Flesh also from P3, GW's Rykland Flesh Shade, back to the Midland Flesh, and then finally with the Flayed One Flesh. Uh, you can see me use this recipe uh, in quite a few videos, including my Ungor video from just a couple of weeks ago. So I'm not going to go through that in any detail. Okay, so my guys have had uh, my standard flesh recipe. And they are looking pretty cool. Um, I've also touched back in the weapons in the same Idrin flesh. And I've also just done the bases with my normal combo of Gone Corpse Brown and a bit of uh, sort of light brown just to give a sort of base mud effect. Next up, I'm just going to be uh, highlighting the weapons with a little bit of this sandry dust. Bring out that sort of wood grain. On the two guys with clubs I'm going to accentuate that even more with just a little bit of pure uh, sandry dust on the sort of novels. The bows don't actually have any wood grain sculpts are done 
So I'm going to do my normal trick with these of a series of sort of thin, thin lines, just following the curve of the bow, just to sort of suggest that wood grain. So next up, I've hit all the leather areas uh, with a bit of my old favourite XV88. And now we're looking at the hair. And uh, are they beards? Are they pubes? Are they grass skirts? I would say that they are hair. I would say they're going to be body hair, these things around their waists. Um, I think the most striking option would be to do these in black. Highlighted with a bit of brown, maybe. Yep, that's definitely uh, looking pretty cool. And while we're there, I might as well um, fill in those eyes as well. She looks a bit sinister when they're all black, but we'll put some whites in in a second. Okay, we're throwing a few more colours on. Uh, I'm going to do the arrow tips and obviously the spots in this guy's shield in white. Uh, so this is Celestia Grey with some white scar. I've done the spear tips and arrow tips in some pig iron. I decided this guy is clearly the boss. Uh, in my head it was going to be one of these guys, but uh, they've got the big scary clubs. But this guy is carrying the only big size metal weapon, plus this big flashy shield. I feel like he's probably in, in charge. Uh, next up I'm going to touch in all the teeth uh, in sort of just uh, some men off white base. I've already done the insides of the mouth with some corn red, uh, but I'll use it mixed with a bit of... And I've already done the insides of their mouths with a bit of corn red, uh, but I'll mix that with a bit of this uh, Meneth White Highlight uh, to create like a light pink, like a fleshy pink, uh, and I'll use that to paint their tongues in. I'm not too worried about picking out separate teeth just at the moment. I just want to get the general shape in. Okay, I've had a little purple spill here. Uh, but nothing I can't clean up in a second. We've got all the base colours down uh, on these guys now. And I think they're looking pretty sweet. The next step is going to be Agrox Earthshade on all the wood and leather uh, to tone that. And some Null Oil on the sort of metal parts. And I'll also be using the Agrox Earthshade on their teeth. Because that'll help them break it into separate teeth and sort of lining the insides of their mouths like this and make the whole thing look kind of cool. So I'll get all these washers on, like I said, on the wood, bring out that grain, on the leather, put a bit of contrast in that. And I'll come back when that's done. So always cl close the lids on your pots, guys. I was cleaning up the purple mess and I knocked over my null oil. Fantastic. Okay, all the washers are done and I've cleared up a bit. And we're almost there with this very simple paint job. I'm going to use a bit of this Meneth White Highlight, which is just an off-white. I'm going to try and do some eyes. So this is the method I'd use for normal sized eyes on a model. Uh, I don't know how well it's going to translate to eyes this big. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's going to work quite well. So that's just one dot each side. One dot. And two dots. And we've got some pretty convincing eyes. And I think that's really made these guys come alive somewhat. I've also re-highlighted some of the leather. Uh, and I'll re-highlight the metal in a much brighter silver. So we're just going to go with these edges and down the center, just to give the impression of sort of sharpness there. And I think our last stage is probably just going to be to put a little bit of Ugman's glow uh, on the beards and hair. And we don't worry very much of this at all. I just want to be able to pick out those individual strands. I still want the sort of main colour to be black. There we go, that's the sort of thing we're going for. 
And I think that's the basic paint job done. I might revisit these guys because I do remember an old article where people use sort of blue and red sort of washes uh, to re bring faces out a little bit. Um, but I'd have to look that up because I'm not exactly sure what the technique would be. Uh, but as far as a simple paint job, just to see these models in action goes, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, the more I've painted these guys, the more I've really, I really like them. They've got proper character. Last thing to do is just going to be to uh, re-rim these bases in black, let that dry for a few moments, and then uh, I'll say about some basing material and some final photos. So yeah, like I said, I'm really happy where these have come out. Uh, I think they look great, and uh, they've probably got all, they've got tons of character to them and they were an absolute joy to paint. Uh, so if you like the look of these, um, definitely check out Satire Art, Satire Art Studios. Uh, link will be in the description. And check out all the other sort of old hammer goodies they've got on there as well. And remember, if you're UK based, you can pick these up from Grendel as well. And remember, if you're UK based, uh, that they ship uh, locally as well, which is dead handy. And that's all for this video. Please let me know what you thought down in the comments. Uh, maybe subscribe for more. And as ever, thanks for watching. Bye.